Hey guys, thanks for watching GK Building and Woodworks. Very quickly, I'm going to show you how to take a plain wood from, like, say, a big box store like Lowe's or something and make it look like it's rough sawn. You know, a lot of these farmhouse stuff, they want that rough sawn look on the front of it, face of it. But you want to use kiln dried stuff that way that it doesn't crack and stuff in your glue ups. What you'll need is an old saw blade. And uh, it'd be best to get one with a lower tooth count, so less teeth, and it does a better job. And it don't matter how rough or how bad a shape it's in. Uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take a pair of pliers and one tooth, we'll take two teeth directly across from each other. And that blade will set in here just like this. We wanna bend the tooth just a little bit towards our fence, our table saw fence. So we'll grab that tooth and just a little bit. Just eyeball it, you don't want, it don't take much, just a little. Bend it kind of out of whack. And then we'll come straight across from that tooth. And we'll bend this one in too. So after you bent those two teeth across from each other, and you got them bent just maybe a sixteenth out, you don't have to have much. Uh, then what we'll do is take our good blade off. Good blade. We'll lay that to the side. Put the old blade on. Now remember, we bent those two teeth in towards the fence. You were to bend them out away from the fence when you run the board down, I'll show you in just a second, it wouldn't do no good. Snug that up. And we'll put our guard back in. Make sure your saw is unplugged when you do this, by the way, anytime you're messing with the blade. You want a fence at least high, uh, half as high of the material you're running through. So if you're running a uh, one by eight through this sideways to give it that rough finish on top, you at least want a four inch board. This is three and a half. I'm running a four and a half inch board through. This is gonna be our makeshift high fence. All right, we got that fastened to it. Now we're gonna pull this over. We're running one and a half inch stock through. So what we'll do is, we'll grab a piece, lay it about center ways, and we wanna make sure that none, neither of those two teeth we bent are up at the top. There's one. So we'll take and push There's one we bent. So we'll push it right there and bring your fence against the blade. Now we'll want to adjust this blade up as far as your saw can go. Well we'll do about a halfway pass and we'll just run it through twice. So you want to adjust your blade up a little past halfway on the material you're going to rough up. Push your fence against it. Lock the fence down firmly. Make sure you pull that out. Please make sure you're wearing safety glasses doing this. If you don't have dust collection, get a mask. 
marks. I went ahead and marked all my boards with a B on the back side. I remember that'll be the bottom of my top, my tabletop, and I always put the B towards the fence because we want to rough up this edge. You want to go through your material and go ahead and mark it because you only want to do one side. This is a little time consuming. Let's give it a try, guys. See there, that was halfway through it. And I mean, it really gives it that rough song look. And then we'll flip it over to the other side. Now, you can see the difference. Rough saw, kiln dried, rough saw look, big box store purchase wood. Man, it looks good. Let's do a bunch more of these. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button. I try to put up one video a week. Like I said in my last video, comment below. I will not forget my first 1,000 subscribers. God bless you guys. Mm -hmm.